Once you have uploaded your photos to Flickr, the most obvious thing to do next is to include these pictures on your own website. For example, if you have some pictures of the rooms and facilities in your hotel, your guest house or your B&B, then why not include these on your site so customers can see what it is like for themselves. As we all know, a picture says a thousand words, so include as many as you can. In order to display Flickr photos on your site, you simply need to first decide where you want the pictures to appear and then include a reference to the Flickr photo. So let's take a look at how you can do this. So first of all, you need to go to your Flickr photo stream and click on the particular image that you want to include on your website. This will bring you into the page specific to that image. You'll then see above the image that you have a share this option. If you click on this, you'll see the various options available to you for sharing this photograph. Now we could send it to somebody via email, but that's not what we want to do here. What we want to do is grab the HTML that will enable us to then reference it from our website. So as you can see here, there's a load of code called HTML. You don't need to understand what all this means. Just simply highlight all of the code, then right click and select copy. And then simply paste that code into the page on your website where you would like the photograph to appear. So once again, you're not copying the actual image itself. All you are doing is creating a reference to this image on Flickr. While displaying individual photographs on your website looks great, why not go one step further and display a slideshow of all your photos instead? This way your customers get a complete and uninterrupted tour of the rooms and facilities in your hotel or guest house. So let's take a look at how to do this. First you need to select what photographs you actually want to include in your slideshow. You've got two options here. You can either create a slideshow of all of the photographs in your photo stream or alternatively you can create a slideshow of the pictures in a particular set. Now the sets of photographs in Flickr are displayed on the right hand side of the screen as you can see here. So I'm going to click into the set that we want to create a slideshow for. Now as you can see it shows all of the pictures included in that set. Up in the top corner of the screen there is a slideshow option. Click on this. This will open a new window which shows you those photographs in a slideshow. I'm just going to pause this here briefly so that we can select the options on the screen. So to share out this slideshow, click on the share option in the top corner. As you can see, it gives you two options. You can either grab the URL itself. Now the URL is simply the web address for that slideshow, but that is not what we want to use. What we want to do is actually to grab the HTML so that we can include it on our website. Now I'm not going to just copy the HTML from here. I'm going to go in to the customize option so you can see that there are additional configurations that you can carry out. This option is to change the size of the slideshow window. You've got various options available here. Small, medium, large and supersized. By default, the option is small. If I click on medium, you can see that it gets a little bigger. On large, a little bigger again, and so on. Alternatively, you could create a custom size if none of those particular sizes suit. So let's say we want to have ours nice and small because we want to have it in the corner of our window. So as you can see, it has resized it. Now one of the most important things here is to ensure that the maintain aspect ratio option is selected. This just makes sure that your pictures are not going to get skewed and stretched. I'll just show you very quickly here. If I switch this off and then I change maybe the setting of this to 100, you'll see that your picture goes a little bit funny and it doesn't look very good. So as I said, try to keep the maintain aspect ratio switched on at all times. Once you've selected the size that you want to use, simply scroll to the bottom of the window and you'll see that this is where all the HTML is that you need to copy into your website. So simply highlight all of the text, right click and copy the code. And then again, simply go to the page in your website where you would like the slideshow to appear and paste this code in.
If you don't know how to do this, then simply contact your web developer.